What's going on YouTube? Today we're looking at Google Hangouts, the SMS part. They um, updated this earlier this month, I think like November 7th. So you can uh, now use your SM, you can text through Google Hangouts. A lot of people used Google Plus, you know, separately from their SMS, and now they combine it where you can do both. They had Messenger before and Google Talk, but now they're trying to get it all together, which is kind of cool. So if you are using, you know, the stock messaging app, like I know a lot of my friends are, this could be for you. I mean, it's not a bad feature at all. If you are coming from stock, then all you gotta do is get into the settings and exchange it. But, but before we do that, let's look at this right here. I'm gonna show you. If you see my other video, which I will put right here, if you're on a computer, or links in the description below, this is a KitKat. This is not the launcher, or not just the launcher. This is actually KitKat. I've seen a lot of videos, people saying they're doing KitKat and they're just doing the launcher. This is CyanogenMod 11 by Euroskank. It's 4.4. I can do it here with my left hand. Kick it, kick it, kick it. There you go. Yes, that this is not that is not a launcher. This is actually just the real deal here. It is a nightly, obviously. And some things do not work. But it is it is pretty stable. I used it all day today. The battery life was a little better than the other one, but we won't get into that right now. So but please check back with me because I will do a review about this later this week, probably on Saturday. So <clears throat> if you're coming from stock there's no no issues at all um, if you saw any of my other videos I did a review on go SMS Pro which is one of my favorites that I've been using for two years and if you're using that you have to go into go SMS Pro and turn off no notifications turn off the pop-up window otherwise it'll keep popping up and it's kind of irritating so do that before you say turn on hangouts now <clears throat> let's get into it hang on a second okay when you get into it you see uh, you have uh, your email SMS about you just go into SMS and you just hit enable mine's already enabled and then you can check notifications and then you can change the sound to whatever you want which is kinda cool um, let's see here one cool thing is, let me turn this down. I turned it up because you know why? I don't have fancy enough software to blur out images yet, so I'm getting there, guys. But the one cool thing about this is you can use this, and it, it'll take a picture, or you can send your location to your friend. That way, they can use it, click on it, and get to you. And that's pretty slick. I like that. But anyway, <clears throat> so you can do that. And that's one cool thing about it all right again I apologize for small beginnings you know I use Windows Movie Maker right now to do my video so there's no blur feature in there if there is please leave a comment below educate me but I couldn't find one so for now we're gonna use a piece of paper I asked my son to text me some emojis because Hangouts comes with su emoji support which is really cool you know so that's again if you're using stock you this would be good for you to come use this but it's not perfect yet because I asked him to send me some and if you're using if the other person is using hangouts you should be fine but he's using go SMS like I do and so as you can see he sent me back two of those well I actually showing only one but all you see is two right all right let me cut the cut the video here and I'm gonna show you what he sent me Okay, and we're back, and this is going to mess, and that's actually what he sent me. What you saw before was only like two. As you can see, he sent me several things. So that's kind of a bummer. You know, if somebody else is using Go SMS or Hand Ascent or Chomp and they, or iPhone and they send you emojis, you may or you may not get them. So that's, you know, it could be a deal breaker for some. I know a lot of my friends won't care. You know, I, I do recommend Hangouts, even though that problem, but they will fix that. So, anyway, I thought I'd point that out. 
like I said, I use Go SMS, and one reason I use it is because of the uh, the options to customize the options to customize the ringtones, yada yada. Now, if you don't know this, then this would be a bonus. You can use this app right here called Ring Pro. Let me get into here. Hang on. Yeah. And from when you, it's, I think they have a free version and they have a paid version. Sorry about the camera, guys. And you can change SMS tone. You know, you set up whatever. That way, if you want text tones, text tone, excuse me, then you can um, use this app. And I'll put that in the link in the description below. So that way, if you want to be like me and know who's texting you, which I think is cool, you can use that app to do that. Like I said, I use Go SMS, so it doesn't make a difference. But if you use a stock and you want to use Hangouts, or if you want to stay on stock, I still recommend this app, Ringo Pro. So that's a freebie. The final conclusion for me is I I like it. I think it's cool, but it's not for me because you know I don't use the stock messaging app. I use Go SMS, so I'm used to all the customizations, the LED control, the different you know putting a picture in the background the text tones I'm used to all that so for me to leave that and come to that I just can't do it but you know it's not bad again if you are coming from stock you might like it and if you wanna learn more about Go SMS then check out my video below because I did a video about Go SMS Pro alright okay guys well that's been it for this video I'll try to keep it short but not so much Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for future videos, especially for this ROM that I'm going to do a review on later, probably on Saturday again. And hit the like button below. Feel free to share and comment. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day.